Hello and welcome to Big Pond Sport News. I'm Lucy Polkinghorn. Paceman Peter Siddle says his back injury will sideline him for up to five months. The 25-year-old says his heavy workload was not responsible for the injury. He plans to rest for a month before undergoing three months of rehabilitation. Geelong has ordered disgraced forward Matthew Stokes to get a life following his arrest for the alleged drug possession and trafficking. Among a swag of sanctions handed out to the 25-year-old, Stokes has been suspended until round eight and ordered to get a full-time job outside of football in the meantime. He's also been fined $5,000, must take part in a drug-related community program and isn't allowed to train with anyone from the club until round one. But the Premiership player can play in the VFL from round five. Billy Slater is in doubt for this weekend's NRL All-Stars match after suffering an ankle injury at training. The squad will train without him today while he has MRI scans to assess the damage. Reigning Dalian medalist Jared Hayne will move to fullback if Slater is ruled out. The Central Coast Mariners may be out of finals contention, but they're determined to end their A-League season on a high. Tonight they thrashed local rivals the Newcastle Jets with a punishing 3-0 win at Blue Tongue Stadium. Waratahs recruit Beric Barnes is bracing for a hostile reception when he returns to Queensland for the opening round of the Super 14 series this weekend. The playmaker controversially defected from the Reds at the end of last season and his old teammates are keen for some payback on Saturday night at Suncorp Stadium. Meantime, Matt Gitto is racing the clock to be fit for the Brumbies clash with the Western Force on Friday.